With flavor and aroma that is described as rancid butter, sour cream, or buttermilk, as implied by the name of this blended sensory compound, no level of these compounds is considered acceptable, as they are a result of beer contamination. While bottles and cans of beer can become contaminated and show signs of infection, this compound is most commonly experienced in unclean draft beer lines. Draft beer that exhibits only diacetyl at some stage will sometimes also develop an acetic characteristic as bacteria flourishes in the draft lines. The most common contaminants that may be detected during the brewing process are lactic acid bacteria, which grow best under anaerobic conditions. Lactobacillus produces lactic acid, acetic acid, and diacetyl. Lactobacillus are rod-shaped bacteria that are heterofermentative. Pediococcus produces lactic acid and diacetyl. Pediococcus are cockle or round-shaped bacteria that are homofermentative. As acetic acid is a more easily detected compound than lactic acid, contamination by lactobacillus results in a rancid butter off flavor, whereas pediococcus contamination will result in a more buttery off flavor. Lactic acid bacteria are on surfaces around us and in malt dust, and it's difficult for us to keep it out of wort and beer given the many times beer is handled throughout its process. Good hygiene practices are key to lessening the possibility of contamination, which means breweries must have cleaning and sanitation protocols in place to lessen the possibility of contamination. Draft systems are prone to infection, so scheduled cleaning using appropriate techniques is key to maintaining clean lines and draft equipment. It's common for breweries to use yeast taken from a batch of beer after fermentation for the fermentation of another batch of beer. This can result in contamination by being transferred from one batch of beer to another, with each subsequent transfer potentially allowing bacteria to multiply along with the yeast. Lab analysis can help detect the presence of spoilage organisms in the yeast to be repitched before that batch of yeast is used. Yeast may be acid washed to kill the bacteria either as a precautionary measure or if very minor amounts of bacteria are detected.